Friends, data industry is growing so rapidly that every next day we see a new product coming in the market and sometimes we feel lost. And if you ask me, even I am not aware of so many products which are coming uh, almost every day. So what I have tried doing in this video is I have tried collating and collecting some popular and some upcoming products in various uh, areas of a data life cycle. So in this video, I have categorized these products under four different categories. One is cloud data platform, like where we store the data on cloud. Second is ETL. Third is workflow and orchestration of your data pipelines. And fourth is BI analytics and uh, reporting a product. So Amazon Redshift is the first one on our list and it is a fully managed data warehouse solution provided by Amazon. Uh, it it uh, supports massive uh, data loads, it supports massive data sets, complex queries and joins and for this you need to set up clusters on AWS, it needs initial setup to be done and uh, it is uh, very very famous and obviously if you want to store data on the cloud, AWS Redshift is one of the products to look for. I will provide the documentation link for all the products in the description so you can go and check those products in more detail. Another upcoming product for AWS is AWS Athena and this particular product is interactive query service and it can run directly queries on anything stored on Amazon S3 bucket which is a storage service. So Athena directly can connect and run, you can run your SQL queries and it can support all kind of different data structures. It's, so when it comes about choosing between the two, uh, it is completely serverless. So it is uh, like you just plug and play, you just start using Athena, you don't need any initial setup uh, for, for using this. But in Redshift you need initial clusters to be set up. So in that sense it is lightweight. But then, uh, you know, you need to check which one suits your particular need. Google BigQuery, again, a very famous product. I have created a dedicated video on Google BigQuery. So if you want to learn, uh, you can go and check that out. Google BigQuery is Google Cloud solution for data warehousing and analytical workloads. It is very much similar to uh, Athena, you can say, because it is also completely serverless. You don't need to have any setup. But the, the way it scales is massive. It has, you know, pretty much everything you want when it comes to running your uh, data intensive workloads, analytical workloads on Google Cloud. So Google BigQuery can, you know, churn your terabytes, petabytes of data in no time. It is one of the prominent products uh, when it comes to Google Cloud. So Databricks is a product or a company which was founded by the founders of Apache Spark. So ba basically it is a layer on top of Apache Spark. They have customized this particular product so that it can integrate seamlessly with all the different cloud providers. And you can pretty much start developing your uh, data pipelines uh, for especially for your AI, ML and data science workloads on Databricks. So it's a very popular product. One good product which has been customized uh, with Azure is Azure Databricks. So uh, pretty much uh, Databricks has moved on to Azure and then that product is something wherein you can have the data in Azure and then using Spark from Databricks you can create uh, your uh, data pipelines and your AI and ML workloads and workflows. Snowflake, another brilliant product, uh, it is fantastic, it is database as a service, uh, it is very closely competing with uh, Databricks because Snowflake also provides you, uh, you know, a solution which can be integrated with all the different cloud providers and Snowbla uh, Snowflake uh, gives you a multi-layer architecture in which you have your services layer, then you have your compute layer and then you have your storage layer and all layers are integrated but works independently. And that's why you can create virtual warehouses in Snowflake which gives it a lot of flexibility. A very good product. So if you want to set up your data warehouse on the cloud, you can simply use Snowflake and uh, you are good to go. So yes, these are the five products. Now let's move on to our extraction transformation or load ETL products or should we say ELT products because now more and more people are using ELT on cloud. Uh, if you don't know about ETL or ELT, I have other videos where I have explained this in detail uh, for on my data pipeline or data warehousing videos. Uh, go check that out. So friends, uh, in our ETL category, the first is Apache Spark. So it's an open source uh, product. And then you can use Apache Spark to create and develop your big data workloads and big data pipelines. So for using Apache Spark, although there are different products, but then you need to have coding experience and you need to design your data pipeline using Spark modules. So a very famous product nowadays uh, with more and more uh, software engineers coming into the data industry who know coding, who know how to develop data pipelines. They are extensively using Spark. It is the de facto 
and very popular. However, if you come from a no code background and if you do not have exposure to coding, then there are other products for you which we will discuss now. So, uh, for example, Google Cloud Data Fusion. It is the latest offering from Google Cloud. Previously, Google offered Google Data Flow, but then again, it also required a certain amount of coding. But Google Data Fusion is completely serverless offering from Google Cloud where you can drag and drop your data workflows and ETR workflows and uh, Google Cloud will do the magic behind the scenes. AWS Glue is again very similar, a UI based uh, cloud native solution. Informatica has been uh, a very big player right from the old age when uh, everything was on-prem, Informatica was then one of the prominent ETL product and now Informatica has uh, moved to the cloud with integration with uh, players like Google. So Google Cloud and Informatica has collaborated and then you can use Informatica on cl uh, Google Cloud. So Informatica is again a very good product. Azure Data Factory also gives you uh, a UI based uh, product which, where you can create your ETL design. So all these products does not require you extensive coding knowledge. So all the Apache Spark needs some bit of coding but then there are different products built on top of Apache Spark which you can use if you are completely from a UI based ETL development background. So these are some products and again guys these products are not the fixed list. I know there are many other products which I can recall but it's not possible for me to <laughs> summarize everything. So friends here's the task for you. After watching this video you go in the comment section and put what are your favorite products or what products you are using in all these categories okay and that will let me learn some new products as well and if i like your comment i'll definitely try to reply on the same so let's move on to our workflow and orchestration products so friends what is workflow management so once you have developed your data pipeline you need a mechanism to orchestrate that particular workflow which you generally do using a DAG design which is directed acyclic graph. I have created a separate video on that so please go check that out. I will put the link in the description. So Apache Airflow is one of the most famous open source workflow management uh, product and it was created by or developed by Airbnb and then it was made open source. It has a massive community and it also offers you a UI but it is completely based on Python. So once you have developed your data pipeline, you can create your DAGs using Python and then deploy it on suppose for example, Google Cloud and then that particular uh, DAG can be orchestrated. So for example, Google Cloud has its own offering, for example, Cloud Composer, which is based on Apache Airflow. So all these kind of uh, wrapper products have been uh, offered by various uh, different cloud providers but underneath that Apache Airflow is the prominent product. So Prefect is very similar to Apache Airflow so we don't go into that much detail. Ergo workflows I found interesting with, with whatever I have learned about this product. It's, it is container native orchestration product which runs on Kubernetes. So whatever workflow you are creating or whatever DAG you are creating every step is actually being wrapped in a container and then eventually getting orchestrated under Kubernetes. So it's an interesting offering and it's, uh, you know, it completely runs on a container native environment. So Luigi is an open source uh, module in Python. It was created by Spotify and now it's completely open source. So if you want to create your DAGs and orchestrate it, uh, you can use uh, Luigi as a module for orchestration. Dexter is again a very new thing for me I have not worked on it I have not heard of it uh, only during the, my research I got to know about this product I'm very new to it so I won't comment much but it's also one of the products which are coming up and I'll put some links in the description so you can uh, explore more but in totality it's not very different from what Apache Airflow offers so friends in our last category which is BI and analytics uh, the leader is uh, definitely Tableau. It is one of the famous products since 2003 it is in the market and it has seen uh, an exponential journey and growth. In 2019 it was taken over by Salesforce so now it is a Salesforce company but one of the best products for pretty much all kind of uh, analytics and dashboarding solution. Second in the list is Microsoft Power BI. It has also emerged very uh, quickly in, the, in this particular space. A very good product. It offers you a lot of flexibility 
and is a close competitor of Tableau. Looker is a Google Cloud uh, response to all these tools which are coming in the reporting space. So Looker was a separate company, but again in 2019, uh, it was taken over by Google. ClickSense provides you all the analytics and visualization services on the cloud. So it's a cloud native product. ClickSense uh, has been in the market for a long time. So also Tibco Spotfire, all these products have been in the market for a long time. So in totality, you know, these are some products, but then there are other products. I myself have worked on SAP Business Objects, which was a business intelligence product, but now it is not uh, that relevant in the current trends. Obviously, it still has its own place, but if we talk about five prominent or upcoming products, it does not hold uh, in that particular category. So friends, this brings us to the end of this video. We have now talked about 20 different products under four different categories. So I hope this video adds some value to your knowledge and now you can explore these products in greater detail. So friends, if you liked it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe bell icon. You are very intelligent. You know everything. I don't have to tell you. So please go and do that. If you want more updates from this channel, if you want this channel to grow, please do this. Okay. So until next time, Please keep learning guys, keep sharing all the knowledge and yes, keep hustling. Bye for now.